What's up guys? So Price Picks has a promo today where if you go six for six in a six pick flex play, you get a 30x payout. So usually it's a 25x payout. So on Friday, they oftentimes do some promo and you can see today they're giving you 30x. So I'll include a link to this sheet in the description of the video on YouTube, but you can basically see with the promo, right? So if you go to Odds Jam as an example, and we just go to the positive EV tool, you can see the five or six pick flex is generally minus 119 odds. When you convert the payouts to sportsbook odds, you're getting minus 119 odds on prize picks and a six flex. But with this promo, you're actually getting better odds. You're getting minus 112, which makes sense, minus 112.5. So you're getting seven cents better. And again, to an untrained eye, it's like, oh, minus 112 versus minus 119, what's the difference? But to a sharp better, those seven cents make a big difference, right? In finding profitable plays, finding an edge becomes a lot easier when you're getting those seven points of value. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. So the first play I'm on is right here. I found this on the odds jam screen. So where is this little nut job? So Philip Kurashev, you can see his line on both prize picks and underdog. So this line's also available on underdog. You know, this is called the odds jam screen and you can browse any market, you can browse any sport. So literally millions of odds updating in real time, all side by side for the sports books. So if you go ahead to Kurashev, you can see, okay, wow, this guy's line is two, right? It's two on prize picks and underdog. It's one and a half on all the sports books. So Kurashev right here, right? Prize picks and underdog have his line at two. All the books have them at one and a half. So you may be like, oh, I'll take it under two on underdog. Well, why would you take it under two on underdog, right? When you can get under two at a much better price, much better odds, minus 112, um, on prize picks with this promo. So we definitely want to be going with six flexes today. So you can see all the sports books have the line at one and a half and they don't have the over very heavily juiced. I mean, you can even see Bet Rivers, they have the under one and a half at minus 104 odds. So the benefit here, right? The value here is if Kershev has exactly two shots on goal, we're going to push. We have under two, right? So our six flex will become a five flex. So we're going to push if he has exactly two shots on goal and anyone else who plays the one and a half, right? They're going to lose if you take under one and a half. So you can see first, let's just get into some of the slips that I ended up creating. So I had a few different five pickers already for today. If you want to take a look at these right here, but regardless, where is this six flex? So here we can see the first one, right? I actually have two plays, Kevin Shatternick under two shots on goal and Philip Kurashev under two shots on goal, right? Six flex, you can see here a hundred to win 3,000, a flex play is kind of like a round robin. If you're new to prize picks, you go five for six, you 2X your money, you go four for six, you 0.4X your money. But it's the same thing with this Kevin Shatternick guy, right? Like if we go to his game log, which we can actually do right now, you're gonna see, right, in his game log, three out of his past five games, if you just zoom in, if I just zoom in right here, three out of his past five games, one, two, three, he had exactly two shots on goal. So this is a place, right? The jump from one and a half to two and a half shots on goal. A lot of people are like, oh, one and a half versus two and a half versus two. I apologize. What's the difference? Well, here are th like literally for Shatternick, three out of the past five games, we would have pushed. Whereas all of the sports books, just like Kirsch have, they have Shatternick's line at one and a half shots on goal. So we found value, right? We found an edge. One, two, three. So that's really, you know, again, as a sharp better, I don't claim to win every bet. You won't win every bet. Sharp, you know, sharp sports betting, profitable betting strategy. It's all about finding an edge over the books. In plays like this, where all of the sports books have his line at one and a half, and there's not a ton of juice on the over, right? There's not a lot of juice on the over, and the jump from one and a half to two is a very big jump. So that's the first play I went with. Um, and again, like, you can also browse odds, you know, in this format on Odds Jam, and this is completely free to use. So any books in your location, I mean, as you switch around states, you know, you're gonna see different sports books, but any game you wanna look at, you know, you get 200 sports books about any games, any markets, millions of odds updating in real time. And again, the whole premise of Odds Jam is as a sharp better, you need to be hunting for value, right? So if we take a look right here, it's like, okay, so I'm definitely not gonna, you know, bet, let's say, on, let's find an example. I'm definitely not gonna play, you know, on Hard Rock 
Aaron Gordon to make a three at minus 135 odds, considering I can get this on jock market at minus 119. That's 16 cents better, right? As a savvy investor, you look for value. As a sharp sports better, you look for value. As a day trader, you look for value, right? We are hunting through the market. It is time intensive to make money sports betting for sure, right? We're putting in the work to find these edges, to find these profitable plays. Um, so you can see here, you can kind of browse around the market and just hunt for value. You can see which books are offering the best price, all that sort of stuff. And again, the general premise is if you're placing bets on like Caldwell Pope, let's say, um, on bet 365 under one and a half threes, and you're betting at minus 135 when all, when a bunch of other sports books are offering 15 cents better, minus 120, you can see Barstool has, has him minus 120. You're getting ripped off, right? You're never going to make money sports betting. These differences, minus 120 to minus 135, like that's what turns you from being an unprofitable sports better to a profitable sports better. So it's kind of like being a day trader, right? Imagine being a day trader and I told you, hey, everything you buy, you actually have to buy at five times higher of a price. You're gonna be like, well, how am I supposed to make money? And I mean, that's an extreme example, but it's no different as a sharp better, right? Like if you have to place bets at minus 139 when other people are getting minus 120, you don't even stand a chance, right? You literally don't stand a chance. So because every book sets lines independently, you essentially have, you know, hundreds of data points telling you where the line should be set. And you're hunting through the market, you know, kind of looking at all this information and trying to find spots with value where sports books are screwing up. So I'll give you an example of a few more plays. So another tool I use a lot is the positive EV tool. So you can see here, Beal under six and a half assists, Jokic, over 12 and a half rebounds, um, some different plays, Jeremy Sochin under half of a three. So if I go ahead and I refresh this, we may see new plays. So you can see this play, right? The market's always moving. It looks like there's a good play on underdog. So you can kind of set up, you know, your filters and stuff like that. Typically all I do is usually my max odds are at, you know, plus 190. But when I'm making a prize picks video, you know, prize picks again is minus 119. Well, actually for this promo, minus 112. So I typically just take it down to minus 119 so I can show more of the prize picks plays. But you can see like there's opportunities on underdog, there's opportunities on FanDuel, there's opportunities on WinBet. More sports books, right, means more profitable betting opportunities. So you want to get as many as possible. So if you take a look at this Jeremy Sochin play, it's like, okay, you know, we're getting him to not make a three at minus 119 odds. All the sports books, you know, Bet Online has this minus 137, DraftKings minus 150, Caesars minus 135, Pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker in the world, they have this at minus 136, right? So there's pretty clear value, as you can see, on the under. And then, um, and what's interesting here is now you can actually see the value on Kevin Chatternick is on the over one and a half. So we literally just went through this guy, right? We have him under two. And a lot of people won't get this. This is called a middle bet. Odds Jam actually has a betting tool for middles, which you can see right here. But we could take him over one and a half and under two. And if he has exactly two shots on goal, we're going to push, right? We're going to push and then we're going to win. So for example, imagine, you know, we took Shatternick. Now I have to reload this. Imagine we took him under 2.0, which we already did, right, right here, we took him under 2.0. So this is, you know, one of the first, once this promo was released, this is one of the first ones I launched. So you can kind of take a screenshot um, of this. A lot of these plays you just saw in the EV tool, you know, I literally just follow the data and I'm literally also just showing you guys what I'm putting my own personal money on, what I'm betting. But you can see Shatternick, right? He had one, two, three shots on goal in three of his last, or two shots on goal in three of his last five games. So in that case, we would have won the over, right? We would have won the over and we would have pushed here, right? And this six pick flex is going to become a five pick flex. So that's called a middle bet, right? You take the over and then you take the under at a different line over one and a half under two. We want Kevin Shatternick to have exactly two shots on goal because then we're going to push or tie the under and we're going to win our over. So it's kind of like a low risk lottery ticket, right? You're kind of hedged. So... Long story short, you know, all these sports books pricing this around, you know, minus 135, minus 150. So you can see the no vague odds are minus 122.84. So this basically, this no vague odds, it's kind of like, okay, all these sports books are baking a spread into their market. Let's remove the juice, remove the spread. And what would the true price be? What would the true odds be? And it would be minus 122.84.
right? So basically what you can do is just like, you know, sportsbooks imply win probabilities through their odds. So for example, for Shatternick, we can take a look here. All sportsbooks are pricing is over around minus 140. We're going to be getting minus 112 in a six pick flex with this promo for today. Pinnacle has this minus 142 plus 107. So if you take Pinnacle's market and you put it into a Novig odds calculator, what this will do um, is this calculator will essentially take the sportsbook's market and tell you how likely that sportsbook thinks the bet is to hit, right? So what I mean by that is, okay, right? Pinnacle is pricing this minus 142 plus 107, right? So they have the over favored. The over is juiced. The over is minus 142. The over is obviously favored. Um, but you can imagine like, okay, well, what if they had this juice to minus 192? Well, then they're saying he's more likely to go over, right? And you see this no vig percentage or your win percentage, the win probability for your bet goes up, but they're at minus 142, which implies 54.85%. So if I go ahead here and I put in 54.85%, what the sheet will show you, which again is in the description of YouTube, it'll show you what the ROI of your prize pick six pick flex will be the profit margin, the edge, whatever you want to call it. And it's roughly 20%, right? So including this play um, in your prize picks entry with this promo, you know, if all plays, you know, were minus 142 plus 107, your prize picks entry would have 20% edge, right? So all you do is you use this no vig calculator to find out the win probability for your bet. And it's a really important calculator. You really should never bet on sports until you read this like four times and you really understand it. It's the most important concept in sports betting. So if you don't understand it, don't bet on sports. I don't say that to be mean. I'm saving you money. Like you got to get educated on these very critical concepts. So really good play. Um, we have some really good plays. So here's my first one, right? So basically, right, because prize picks doesn't vary payouts based on you selecting the over or the under. And here's a second one. So just switched out the Porzingis pick. So because prize picks doesn't vary payouts based on you selecting the over or the under, how you make money off them or the easiest way to make money, right, is you look for spots where sports books are telling you an over or an under should be heavily favored. And then here's the final one with Barnes. Right, and what you can see here is like, okay, all the sports books are telling me, you know, Jeremy Sochin, his under, his not to make a three, his under half of a made three should be heavily favored right? And we know on prize picks, the way that this platform works. So if we go to prize picks, right, they're not varying our payouts. So if I hit reuse players, you know, you can see they're not varying payouts based on if I select overs or unders. It's always the same payout for a five flex or a six flex. So you want to look for spots where books are telling you, yo, the under is heavily favored. The under is like 55, 56, 57% to occur. That's how you get an edge. That's how you beat prize picks long term. So hopefully this was helpful. Let's make some money, guys.